guys welcome to my channel this is ncm africa and your fashion diy tutor in this channel i make and share video tutorials on dressmaking bag making and fashion accessories so if you are a fashion enthusiast if you are a diy lover this channel is for you if you've not yet subscribed to this channel please do so by subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my beautiful tutorials so today's tutorial I'm going to be sharing with you how I made this beautiful sequin beret. So if you want to learn how to make this beautiful sequin beret for yourself, please watch this video to the end and see how I made this beret. So to make this beret, I have my square pattern cut out already, of which the four sides are measuring 12 inches. So I have 12 inches on the four sides so just cut out a square pattern of which the four sides are measuring 12 inches so I have 12 inches here 12 inches 12 inches and 12 inches so after cutting out your square like so you're going to be folding this like this I'm going to be folding this into four equal parts. So after folding into four, you're going to use your tape rule to be measuring six inches. We're making an arc of six inches. So I'll use my tape rule, this is my 6 inches, and I'll be making an arc of 6 inches, like so. So after making this arc, I'm just going to cut this up. So this is what I have, so I'm just going to so I'm going to pick my circle. So after cutting my shape, I'm going to place it on my sequin fabric and I'll be holding it down with my pin so after cutting my circle i'm going to be needing two of this so i'm going to place this on my circle again and cut again so after cutting out these two patterns, I'm just going to keep them aside. I'm going to pick my pattern and I'll be folding this into four again. I'm going to be making an arc using 2.5 inches. Actually, the standard measurement for this is three inches, but because I'm working with a stretchy because I'm working with a stretchy velvet, I'm going to be using 2.5. I'm going to be reducing it to 2.5 inches. But if you're using a non-stretchy fabric, use 3 inches. That is a standard measurement that works most times for adults. So I'm going to be using my 2.5 inches to create an arc. And I'll be 
be going this way After cutting out, I'm just going to pick one of these and fold this into two equal parts. And I'll pick my pattern. I'm going to hold this down with my pin. So after cutting this out, I'm going to pick this other circle and place this on this right side facing right side so i'll take this to my sewing machine and sew this round by half an inch so after sewing this together I'm just going to mark one part of this and I'll use my tape to measure around this I'm going to be measuring this round so I'm just going to start like this to measure gently without stretching this So what I have here is exactly 20 inches. So I'm using this to cut out my pattern. So I'll be cutting 20 inches by four. So this is my 20 inches by 4 inches. So after cutting this out, I'll take this end to my sewing machine. I'll take this to my sewing machine and close this end by half an inch. After closing up this end, I'm going to pick this and fold it into two. I'll pick this. And I'll be holding them together with my pins.
pinning this together i'll take this to my sewing machine and sew around by half an inch so after joining this to this for this rough edge you can take it to the interlocking machine or you can bias it whichever way you like but this is just all for this beret so i'm going to turn this and i'm going to wear this so that you can see how beautiful it is so guys you can see our beret is looking so beautiful and well seated on my head do let me know what you think about this tutorial on the comment section please give this tutorial a thumbs up it's so helpful and please do not forget to subscribe thank you